Welcome to Mark Reed 757 and this is my weight loss journey. Week number four of the Journey to Health collab. You can look below in the description to find the fellow collaborators. Um, before I get to this week's question, I want to tell you a little bit why I was not on, why I was unable to make it to the computer and do some videos. Well, I need a keyboard for what I do in order to navigate, and I allowed my kids to get on there, and for some reason, the keyboard no longer worked. So I did not get to the keyboard. I, I got one on Monday, and I just, by the time I got home and everything, it was getting late, and I figured, you know what? I really didn't feel like messing with everything, plus I didn't know if the keyboard would for sure work or not, and I... I really just didn't feel like messing with it. I did not, by any means, get off of my exercise and uh, eating right plan. I really didn't. I did not drop off because of that. In fact, I did a lot better. Normally, I always gain from my previous weigh-in, which is Friday morning, till Monday morning. So the weekends have been just an absolute killer for me. I've gained anywhere from 5 pounds to 13 pounds like you saw last week. I gained a whole 13 pounds in that time. Granted, I did lose it, and I'm happy I did, but this week was a little bit different. Um, yes, I wasn't able to do the videos, but I really stayed on point, and I only gained 1.9 pounds. I've already, uh, since then, I've already lost it, and I'm, all, and I'm in the week, middle of the week, so I'm I'm doing fantastic. I have very high hopes for Friday morning's weigh-in. Anyway, back to the question for this week. Uh, what are three reasons you are on your weight loss fitness journey? Well, I, I could really put any of these on here, but I'm just going to go with the first one is to live life. I really want to be able to live life. You know, being completely obese and, let's just face it, fat is no fun at all. I mean, from trying to get out of bed, from trying to tie your shoes, from walking upstairs or downstairs. I mean, downstairs is horrible and uh, my knee hurt and everything and it's just, I want to be able to live life. I don't, I don't want to have to worry about it. You know, oh, I can't breathe because I took two steps. I just wanted to get out of that. And, okay, I'm still at the beginning of my journey, but I've lost enough weight where I can go up the stairs. I can come down the stairs. I can walk down the street. I could walk a mile now. There's no way I could have done that before. So, I'm a, so it's to live life. Uh, another reason, help the dig decrease my pain and get rid of all my medications. I have like five medications I have to take every day because of health reasons. Blood, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, acid reflux, and I had a um, AFib, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but I, I take something for that too. And it, it's just like, man, I got to I gotta get off these medications. I I don't want to have to take these all the time, and it'd be nice to not have to remember. Uh, another one is obviously my kids. I really want to be around for them. My my brother passed away last year. Uh, it hasn't quite been a year yet, but he passed away last year, and he left three kids and a wife without a father and a husband. This was a huge wake-up call to me. I, I knew I had to change because I wasn't far off from what he weighed. And I know his weight paid, paid a big contributing factor to him passing away. And I'm, I feel for his family, and I do keep in contact as much as I can because they're in South Carolina and I live in Ohio. But anyway... Those are my three reasons, and tomorrow I'm going to be 
doing a challenge update from Gaining Ashley with Gaining Ashley for the Raw Kale Challenge. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for listening.